congratulations so on much. being a part of Clipped. What resonated with you when you learned you were going to be a part of a docu-series that is, you know, telling the story of one of the most iconic and salacious stories, you know, in the news cycle 10 years ago? What resonated with me most was uh, being an athlete. I played basketball in college and uh, putting myself in that position of these players of like what, was, what decision I would have made during that time. Because um, I know it was easy if you're at home to say what they should have did, but putting yourself in that position to like uh, be able to live your dreams or like make a statement like that, 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 that heavy decision that you have to make in such a short time. Boycotting. Yes. You know, yes. We have, we have to make mm -hmm. some sort of political stand when we hear someone like Donald Sterling, mm -hmm. you know, categor categorically make these sort of racist remarks. When you heard about what happened, like what went through your mind? What went through my mind is they, they shouldn't have played, to be honest. I think um, it was a lose-lose situation for them. Uh, if they played, they still put money in his pocket. Uh, so that's where my mind went, to be honest. I feel like it was a lose-lose situation. I feel like it was a terrible situation. Uh, I also empathize with them because you have these guys, like I said, who uh, finally get a chance to like live the dream that they've been wanting since they were a kid to make it to the NBA championship. And right when they get close, this guy makes this, 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 this crazy statement. Um, and put them in a the public eye like that. So yeah. I empathize with those guys. Pretty, um, God, it's, it's heart-wrenching. It like, is. either way you cut it, it's just really heart-wrenching. Heart you know, as someone who's played, you know, sports, what is your advice to younger athletes coming into this space who don't really have the coaching, the necessary mentoring to really navigate, you know, professional sports? Uh, my advice will always be just like uh, find out who you are and just be that person to the best of your ability. Like don't let anybody like change who you are. Don't let anyone um, deter you from being who you are and just follow follow your gut, follow your intuition. Um, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Enjoy.